a brother is asking about benefiting from the books of Abu Hassan al Nadawi. Abu Hassan al Nadawi al Hindi. Especially in regards to the Arabic language, because his books are known to be uh, very good Arabic as far as the language is concerned. Uh, he's eloquent in his writings and he writes in a very clear way. This is something that the people of knowledge have mentioned. However, Barakallah Fikum, Abu Hassan al Nadawi, has been refuted by many of the scholars. From them are Al-Allama Muhammad Al-Ansari Rahmahullah and likewise Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Din Al-Hilali. May Allah have mercy on both of them. They, and other than them, from the people of knowledge, they mention that he was a Sufi, a deviant Sufi, who was also involved in politics and other than that, and especially in regards to his Sufiya. He was upon this Naqshbandi way, and, uh, this is from the ways of the Sufiya. Also, they mentioned that he ha he is he leans towards the Diobandis. <coughs> Excuse me, and those are from the Sufi ways. And in addition, Sheikh Muhammad Taqeen al-Hilali, Muhammad Taqeen al-Hilali, rahimahullah, he mentioned that he also uh, has uh, is involved with Jama'at al-Tabligh and that he praises them that he has given them the pledge and the likes of these things so barakallah fikum from that we come to know that he is not he was not upon clear aqidah he was not upon the way of the salaf rahimahumullah the righteous predecessors and so trying to learn even the Arabic language from the people of innovation is something that is very dangerous. It is very dangerous because, as the people of knowledge mentioned and some of the Salaf used to mention, that the doubts are like hooks and the hearts are weak. So the person might become affected with this doubt by reading it, even if he thinks that he's trying to benefit and learn the Arabic, the Arabic language. He might become affected by those doubts and by the statements of the people of innovation. For this reason, Sheikh Muhammad Salih al Uthaymeen, Rahimahullah, he was asked about studying and studying under people of innovation and trying to take from the people of innovation. And uh, he was asked, What about? So, of course, he said, No, it's not allowed. He was asked, What about the Arabic language? And he likewise, he said no, because they will put their innovations even in their books of language. So my advice to the brother who is asking about this individual, Abu Hassan al-Nadawi, is to not read from him, from his books.